it's large, it's in charge, it's cauliflower. Hey foodies, today I'm going to be showing you how to make one of my favorite side dishes that's also vegetarian. It is curry roasted cauliflower. Um, I'm actually preparing for my first ever dinner party that I'm hosting 100% myself tonight uh, in this house that I'm house sitting over the holidays, which has been really fun. So I figured I would let you guys in on a little secret of how I make my curry roasted cauliflower. I'm going to be using this cauliflower bigger than my head. Yeah, apparently you can find some awesome things at the farmer's market. Um, I love this dish because it's really easy to make. All you need is an oven, uh, it's just olive oil, some curry powder, you can use a little bit of smoked paprika, some other spices. Um, it's really quick, it's really easy, it tastes great. Uh, it's sure to be a crowd pleaser at your next dinner party. So let's get started. The first step to making your curried cauliflower creation is give your cauliflower a mini makeover. Remove the dark spots and less than desirable looking pieces from your flour before washing. Then, begin to deconstruct, cutting your cauliflower up into bite-sized pieces. A word of advice here, I like to cut the flowers in half so that they lay flat to cook on the tray. I was a little overly ambitious in my estimate of how much cauliflower I would actually need for this recipe, and I ended up using about half of the cauliflower. One tray serves about four to six people, and I ended up making two trays for my party of 12. Once your cauliflower is cut up and washed, put to the side and turn your attention to the main event, the curry mixture. In a bowl, combine a quarter cup of olive oil, two tablespoons of your new best friend curry powder, one tablespoon of cumin, one tablespoon of smoked paprika, and a couple of pinches of kosher salt. Stir to combine. It's time to give your cauliflower a curry bath. Add the flowers to the curry mixture and make sure each piece is coated thoroughly. Next, arrange the cauliflower evenly spaced on a non-stick baking sheet. These little guys are about to fill your kitchen with the most wonderful aroma you have ever smelled. And finally, place your tray into your 400 degree oven and cook for 30 to 40 minutes, flipping at the halfway mark. You got your cauliflower, it's done. I preheated the oven 400 degrees, it's about 30 to 40 minutes. Popping it in here, you're gonna put a little bit of lemon and some mint on top. But I have some people here that are really hungry. Are we hungry? So yeah, we want to eat it. So we're gonna get to our dinner party. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Bye. Yeah.